Welcome again to another episode of Future Focus, bringing you stories of social and environmental innovation from around the globe. Today, I've driven to the port of Rotterdam in an electric car because I've realized for centuries, humans have been burning fossil fuels for most of our needs to run our businesses, to keep our lights on, etc. Today, 80% of our energy needs still come from coal, oil and gas. However, this is changing rapidly and I've come here to see exactly why. According to the Global Carbon Project, in relation to human activities, the world emits about 43 billion tons of CO2 a year. The most dangerous pollutants are dioxins and benzene, created from none other than fossil fuels. And people who live in places with high levels of air pollution have a 20% higher risk of death from cancer, according to the World Health Organization. Not only do fossil fuels affect our personal health, but they also affect the environments around us. They create issues such as land degradation, water pollution, acidification, and more. Because we keep hearing the same arguments about why are we not taking bigger steps to reduce our CO2 emissions? Why are we still using fossil fuels? This is a prime example of big steps forward in the right direction, big steps in innovation that we need now. Wind energy has definitely been the most popular form of renewable energy so far. Ever since the ancient Persians invented it in 200 BC. And ever since then, it's been used for all kinds of purposes in all kinds of societies around the world. Wow, it's huge. This is the Halyard X, the world's biggest wind turbine. It's standing here in the port of Rotterdam before it heads out to the deep sea. It's a pretty epic name. It's a mammoth engineering project and it's the height of the Eiffel Tower. I can hardly even get it in shot. To get some more information from its creators, I talked to Peter Eason, the research and development manager of wind energy at TNO, one of the leading consultancies that was involved in this project. Let's see what he has to say. The Hadiad X, the largest turbine in the world. And as TNO, we are very proud that we got it to the Netherlands at the Maasvlakte where this first of its kind was tested. That was a really amazing achievement, especially because we saw it really as a step change. It was not a gradual change compared to the previous model. It was really a, a very big step in size. And, uh, and, and of course, other manufacturers have now followed. So one blade of the Halyard X is 107 meters long. And one rotation could power one UK household for two days. The renewable energy sector has now created five times more jobs than the fossil fuel industry. A single 2.5 megawatt wind turbine can power over 1,400 homes annually. And in 2016, Portugal powered its entire country for four days with renewable energy only. So the, the speciality of this turbine is, uh, is its sheer size. Yeah, so it is a uh, uh, 220 meter rotor diameter. So that is, that is amazing, especially if you see it rotating and you realize that it, it's this size. <laughs> so it's a, a few football fields uh, turning around. I personally am very concerned about climate change as we see it. And, uh, and, and all the reports, I think also the IEA report recently, uh, showed that we really need to change fast towards fossil-free energy system. In the next few years, the Halyard X will head out to the deep sea. And until then, it will continue to push the boundaries of the wind energy sector. So stay up to date with all the latest developments of the Halyard X. It's time to drive back in my electric car now. That's one problem and one solution. See you next time.